Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how I did these neon coral short coffin shaped summer nails. So I'm going to start off by mixing the coral color. These are two gels from Perfect Summer. I'm going to be using the Cure Sky No Wipe Top Coat as well as the ASP White Gel Polish. So I didn't end up using the top coat while mixing this color, but I'm going to just go ahead and add some pink. I do want a lot more pink than yellow because coral to me is pink, like pinkish orange color. <laughs> so yeah, I do want a lot more pink and I do want to lighten it up because I kind of wanted it not like a pastel but a lighter color not like super orange orange is like my least favorite color but for some reason I love coral but only when it's more pink because <laughs> I love pink but yeah so as you could see I'm just going ahead and dropping it and drop dropping drops of different colors until it is exactly what I want and I did use the two neon colors because I wanted it to be a neon coral I was going for like a peach but I ended up stopping at like this coral color instead of adding more white because I really really loved how it looked so it is kind of a peachy color coral I think it's more coral though and it's really neon the camera does not pick up how neon it is but it's actually very neon and it actually looks lighter on camera but yeah like I said once I was satisfied with the color I just went ahead and applied it to my nails I have already done my nails and buffed them out they're ready for polish if you want to see how I did these nails I will leave the video down below so I'm just gonna go in with the pink brush from the pink polish just because I didn't want to mess up the yellow color and yeah so I did wipe it off really good and I do wipe it and clean it before putting it back into the pink and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply thin coats I do three thin coats I will say I don't know if it was mixing the colors or what but this polish was a little patchy maybe I should have went in with thinner coats to make it a more even application because even after three coats, there are some areas that are a little patchy. So I'm going to do both of my thumbs first. And then I'll do the four other fingers after. I did have to go and make more of the color. Because I did run out. And I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to match the color but I actually did match it really perfectly so I would say to just if you're going to mix colors just mix a little more than what you think you'd need so here's the second coat and again I don't really like the patchiness but I just rolled with it I really love, 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 love the color though. I have been wanting a neon coral color and I never can find one in a gel polish. So I just went and made my own. So here's how the nails looked after the three coats. I'm going to go in with this. A holographic powder the unicorn powder I'm gonna apply that to my pointer and my ring finger at first I was just going to do the pointer finger but then I decided to do the ring finger as well so 
so I just apply the no wipe top coat and then I cure it I don't do the full one minute cure on it I just do the 30 seconds because even though this is like an LED gel polish it's still a little sticky after 30 seconds so I do have to go in for the full minute but I noticed that the powder sticks a lot better when you only cure it for the 30 seconds so I just cure for 30 seconds and then I apply the uni unicorn powder and I dust off the excess and then add another layer of the top coat and then I cure for a full one minute I really really love holographic <laughs> nails so here I have a bunch of random things out I was like not sure at all what to add to them I know I wanted to do like a beachy theme so I'm just going to add this starfish uh, alloy I did use builder gel to adhere it but I don't recommend it because both of my starfish already popped off and I have no idea where they're at so I would suggest using acrylic or maybe some glue or something I even buffed the the shine off the area uh, where the starfish was gonna go thinking that it stick better but nope so for my pinky and my thumb I'm gonna go in with these little seashells as well as two tiny 3mm rhinestones and that's basically all I did I wanted to keep this set pretty simple because they are so short I didn't want to add too much to them so I did just keep it really simple I might go ahead and blink out the middle finger only because the starfish did fall off and I feel like it's pretty naked <laughs> so yeah I'm just using builder gel to adhere everything even the rhinestones because I really didn't want them to fall off and after I did that I did a full cure and I did the exact same thing to the thumb so when I apply anything with the builder gel if there's any like excess I kind of brush it down that way it doesn't look like a bubble and then I'll go over it with top coat and it wasn't lumpy at all so as you can see it does look really thick around I do just go ahead and brush that down and then I did a full cure and then I applied top coat and I did kind of go over the seashell just to make sure it's not gonna pop off I did not go over the rhinestones with the top coat though because they do lose their shine here is how they came out I really really love them they are so simple but sometimes simple is all you need <laughs> I kind of feel like I go really extra and then I just want a simple short set so I hope you guys really liked this video I'm just using this cuticle pen the cuticle oil pen that I got from born pretty store I'll have links to everything down below in case you're interested as well as all of the products that I use and yeah don't don't mind that cut on my pointer finger it is hard for me to use the e-file <laughs> with my non-dominant hand and I was using it on a much too high speed and I cut myself so be very careful when using your e-file even though I've been using one for years I still cut myself so just be very careful 
especially if you do client's nails. So I'm just going to go ahead and massage the cuticle oil in. I really, really like this cuticle oil. It's very, very moisturizing. And I love that it's in a pen. It makes applying it very easy. And I really, really love the scent. I love coconut. And that is it. This is how my nails came out. I freaking love them. Okay, I'm being so extra with this cuticle oil. Come on now, girl. <laughs> but yeah, I do get really dry cuticles, so I really, really love to put the moisture back into them. And my mom just got home. My dog's about to bark like crazy when she starts unlocking the door. About to hold her mouth shut. <laughs> So here's how the nails came out. I hope you guys like them. I will have some pictures at the end. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love you all so, so much. See you in the next one. Bye.